Indian Armed Forces possess nuclear triad capability. India is considered fully established triad nuclear powers. They have robust capability to launch a worldwide second strike in all three legs and can disperse their air forces and their sea forces on deterrent patrols. India is fourth nation in the world to possess nuclear triad apart from Russia, USA and China. Of a strategic nuclear arsenal which consists of three components, land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles, strategic bombers, and submarine-launched ballistic missiles. They possess nuclear forces consisting of land-based missiles, ballistic or long-range cruise missile submarines, and strategic bombers or long-range tactical aircraft. The purpose of having a three-branched nuclear capability is to significantly reduce the possibility that an enemy could destroy all of a nation's nuclear forces in a first strike attack. This, in turn, ensures a credible threat of a second strike, and thus increases a nation's nuclear deterrence. The triad also gives the commander-in-chief the flexibility to use different types of weapons for the appropriate strike while also preserving a reserve of nuclear armaments theoretically safe from a counter-force strike. India completed its nuclear triad with the commissioning of INS Arihant in August 2016. SLBMs, launched from submarines, allow for a greater chance of survival from a first strike, giving the commander a second strike capability. INS Arihant is a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine armed with 12 K-15 missiles with a range of 750 km, which will later be upgraded K-4 missiles with an extended range of 3,500 km. India maintains a no-first-use nuclear policy and has been developing a nuclear triad capability as a part of its credible minimum deterrence doctrine. ICBMs allow for a long-range strike launched from a controlled or friendly environment at a lower cost per delivered warhead and easiest targeting from a surveyed geographic location. If launched from a fixed position, such as a missile silo, they are vulnerable to a first strike, though their interception once aloft is substantially difficult. Some ICBMs are either rail or road mobile. India's nuclear weapons program possesses surface-to-surface -surface missiles such as the Agni-3 and Agni-4. In addition, the 5,000 to 8,000 km range Agni-5 ICBM was also successfully tested beginning the 19th of April 2012 and is expected to enter service by 2017. Strategic bombers have greater flexibility in their deployment and weaponry. They can serve as both a first and second strike weapon. A number of bombers often with aerial refueling aircraft kept at safe points would constitute a second strike weapon. India has nuclear-capable fighter aircraft such as the Dassault Mirage 2000, Dassault Traffic, Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, MiG-29 and Supercat Jaguar. Land and air strike capabilities are under the control of strategic forces Command, which is a part of Nuclear Command Authority. There is nothing in nuclear strategy to mandate only these three delivery systems. For example, orbital weapons or spacecraft for purposes of orbital bombardment using nuclear devices. However, actual space-based weapon systems used for weapons of mass destruction have been banned under the Outer Space Treaty and launch-ready deployment for the US and former USSR by the SALT II Treaty. Hope you like our video, please give thumbs up, share and subscribe our channel for more videos.